Hey everybody, time for a quick coffee break in the Bible, and this is actually going to be a a quick New Year's message um, of sorts. Um, You know, in the New Year, I'd like to direct you to the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5, which says, consider your ways. Another way of saying this is to give careful thought to your ways, careful thought to what you do how you do things. See, New Year's resolutions are typically the first commitments and the first failures that many of us make year after year. We've all fallen into this trap at some point. Even if it's not a New Year's resolution, we've all fallen into it though. You know, it's a a sincere promise that we forget or we find excuses to dismiss. Oh, I'll get to it, you know. Um, Under any other name, it still becomes a lie. And a lie to yourself is still a lie. And what is a lie? It's a sin. As we look to the new year, I'll tell you of a principle I've carried with me since my time serving on active duty in the Marine Corps. And and it's a leadership principle that simply says, know yourself and seek self-improvement. This is something all of us should know and, and apply to our lives. All right. Why? Because it forces each of us to be honest about our past failures and identify where and what we need to effect change in our lives. All right. You should renew your resolution to God and to yourself to become better than you were and to lean on his strength. As we start the new year, Let's take time to let go of our past sins, our past failures, and our past mistakes. And strengthen your relationship with God. Start moving forward in a new direction with Him. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 verses 12 through 14, Paul put it like this. Forgetting those things that are behind me, I move towards the high calling of God to become a new creature in Jesus Christ. Saying, it's time to stop clinging to the past and to move forward with Jesus. When you became a Christian, the old you died and a new you was born with Christ so that you could do his work in the world. So you could do the work that you are called to do in the kingdom. You can't serve two masters. You either serve Christ or the world. Philippians 4, 13. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let me tell you, you have this. You can do this. Keep marching forward and showing his light to the world. Happy New Year, everybody.